we're here with Latin Lugan, Sir John Lorimer. It's your first Christmas on the island, but you're going to be here since the summer. Yeah. How are you finding it? Well, I got sworn in at the end of uh, September, but uh, we moved here, uh, my wife Robin and I, in the end of October. So it's been about six weeks. We've actually been uh, living permanently on the uh, on the island. We're loving it, and we're looking forward to Christmas. Uh, we don't have a uh, a house in the UK, therefore this is this is home, and will be for the next five years. So we've got a, a couple of our sons uh, coming across for Christmas. We've got uh, my wife's uh, parents, sister, brother-in-law, niece and nephew. So it'll be a full house. We're really looking forward to it. And how does preparing for Christmas on the island compare to comparing preparing for Christmas in the island? <laughs> The, the, the army tends to take a sort of, uh, at least the bits that I've been in, sort of a block leave. So everyone goes on holiday from uh, about uh, about a week before Christmas. And and therefore I tend to, I've always tended to sort of not do anything in preparation until that point. Um, actually, I'm going to carry on working all the way up to Christmas. So that may be more challenging. So I'm going to have to, I, I can see myself doing some last minute dot com type uh, uh, shopping uh, down in uh, Strand Street or somewhere uh, just to, to get the final Christmas presents. So just in terms of uh, what is it you're looking forward to sort of doing in the run up to Christmas with family coming over? Well um, we're, we're big walkers in the uh, in, in the family so we hope to get get us all out get our boys out onto the uh, onto the hills. Uh, we're my wife and I have already started Walking around the uh, the island, so we'll probably do a couple of legs, a um, couple of sec sections um, during the uh, during the Christmas break. So getting out uh, as much as possible. I hope to go and see uh, hunting the uh, the wren, uh, go and see the uh, camera uh, game. Um, so and never see it. It's something I've never seen it. Um, it's very, very weird. <laughs> well, I look forward to it. any sport. We love sports. And uh, to see that would be interesting. And also, my younger son is very interested in so Shinto and hurling. He always is knocking, been knocking a ball around in the garden. So quite look forward to see how this is uh, how, the difference. Anyway, just in terms of obviously for coming to Ireland, what was it that attracted you to the role and to move to Ireland? Well, I've been in the army for nearly forty years, and um, in in February. Philip and I started talking about right, what are we going to do when I leave in, in, in August. And I was quite clear that I didn't want to do anything that was related to the military or security or defence or in, intelligence. I didn't, and I didn't want to be a consultant. I also didn't want to go to the Middle East. I've done a lot of work in the Middle East in the past. And although I love uh, the region and the, and the people, I, I wanted to do something completely different. And we also wanted to do something that we could do together because uh, I have been away quite a lot and to be able to do something with Philippa uh, was the, uh, that's a, sort of the top priority. And the, the idea of coming here was in, incredibly appealing uh, to be part of a community um, and to be in the same place for, for five years, uh, really getting to know people properly and helping uh, 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 as much as we can, and just getting engaged. So, how have you found it? Getting out and about, meeting different people. Have you been to Ben and Rugby games? We went to the big one down at Castle Richard versus King Bills. Yeah, that was it. That was great. Great game. I mean, pouring weather. Mm. I thought the two teams were remarkable how they managed to uh, hold any of the passes. So, just how you know, how are you finding all that? Getting out and meeting yeah. people, and how you, same to the question is how are you finding the breaks? <laughs> The, um, we're getting out as much as we can, and um, you know, people have asked us to go to things. We have um, always said yes if we can, if we're not doing something else, and, and we'll continue to do that. Um, we want to keep busy, we want to support the charities that we're uh, engaged with, and other charities, we want to go and visit our organisations. And at the moment, we're very much on receive, and what I mean by that, we're just, you know, we're, our, our eyes and ears are wide open, and we're just learning as much as we can about the uh, about the island and about the uh, the, the, the people. Um, and 
uh, and I think that will continue for some time to come. And you know, as a as a as a come over, uh, as a newbie, you know, we're it's, we're on at utterly unreceived and learning a lot. And people have been very generous. I mean, hugely generous in their hospitality uh, and being very kind. And um, we're, we're trying to learn as much as we can. So obviously, the island we do like to think of ourselves as unique, and I suppose in one sense the island is quite different to even the nearest names. What is it you found sort of unusual or something that you weren't quite expecting when you first came over? I think, I mean, I did quite a lot of reading before coming here, uh, both in preparation for the, you know, the application and the, and the, uh, the interview process. Um, and it, it did talk about that unique being some of the customs, traditions, all, all of that, and that sort of, um, just all those, you know, little bits that make the Iron Man a little bit different. And so I thought, okay, I, I, and I have, but when I came here, it, it kind of struck me that yes, this is different. We are in, uh, in, a, in the Isle of Man is different to across, and and, um, and I rather enjoy enjoy that. And I think there's nothing. Uh, I think you know celebrates one's of um, one's differences, and um, and it, and that's part of the thing that I'm trying to sort of understand most is you know so having conversations about the uh, about the wildlife, about the environment, about uh, you know with culture van and all these things just to yeah, okay what is it that makes people different what what is it that makes life a little bit different here uh, and what's important to people here and that's what I'm trying to understand so when it comes to going down south do you say hello to the fairies yet or are you still sort of building up to that moment oh no no well every time we cross the bridge uh, I'm pretty religious in that I don't want to get it wrong it would be really boring at this stage of a five year you know, time here to, 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 to get on the wrong side. Yeah, and there's so all of that. And, and um, that kind of uniqueness is, is one of the things that makes this place so special. 